You see, results in this kingdom do not just happen. Please understand this. Results are very methodical. Results are predictable because they, they happen at the instance of spiritual patterns. Results are not an issue of opinions. They are not just an issue of, um, you know, sociological or tribal or whatever affiliations. Whoever can subscribe to that pattern, there is a guarantee. There is an investment of God's integrity upon his patterns. If you're with me, please say amen. amen. Exodus chapter 25. Moses receives an instruction to build a tabernacle in the wilderness. We'll read verse 9 and then we'll jump to verse 40. Exodus chapter 25. It says, according to all that I show you, Moses is receiving an instruction now. After the pattern of the tabernacle, it says, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so thou shalt make it. So to build the tabernacle in the wilderness, Moses was taken in the spirit to see the tabernacle in heaven. And he said, make sure you sustain that same pattern. And then verse 40 it says, and look that thou make them after their pattern, which was shown unto thee, on the mount let me tell you this this is very powerful because this is a principle that is also used in witchcraft and occultism i'm not here to, we're not discussing demonology tonight but let me explain something when someone goes to meet a herbalist please look up and says i want to take a charm or i want to introduce a spirit to my house do you know what happens the victim does not even know what is happening. They conjure spirits. And those spirits reveal the pattern that simulates their current environment. They want to come to your house. They can't come to your house till your house looks like where they currently are. So the native doctor he sustains intelligence through divination by conjuring all the substances, spiritually and physically, that can simulate the current habitation of that spirit. Are we together? You take a token of that atmosphere to your house. Now, whether the spirit is in your house or where it was, it does not know the difference again. Because whether it's in your house or it's in that place, the pattern that makes for his presence is already there. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Mm. This is how it works. So God is saying, if you want me to feel at home in that wilderness, you must be able to reproduce a pattern where there is almost no difference whether I'm sitting on my throne or I'm with you in that wilderness. Moses, if it's my presence you want to secure, subscribe to my patterns. Are we together now? Mm. Exodus chapter 40. We'll read verse 16, then we jump to 33 to see the miracle when we adhere to patterns. Exodus 40, let's start from verse 16, then we jump to 33. Please give it to us. Exodus 40, 16. Thus did Moses, according to all that the Lord had commanded him, so did he. Watch this. 33. This was the last instruction being adhered to now. And he read up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work according to pattern. The result... 34 the bible says and then a cloud can you imagine that god was watching and never came until the last peg was put according to pattern then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the lord filled the tabernacle 35 the bible says and moses was not able to enter the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the lord filled the tabernacle spiritual patterns there is a pattern for genuine salvation is that true you don't get saved the way you want there is a prescribed pattern for instance romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 gives us the biblical pattern the pathway to receiving jesus if you receive him any other way you can be sure according to scripture you are not saved are we together you can verify whether an individual is saved. Not just by looking at the individual's personality. You check if the pattern that leads to salvation was adhered to. There is something in um, when those who are in manufacturing, 
there is something called quality control. Am I correct? Quality control insists that the patterns are kept to the letter. So when the products are made, they pass through a quality control department and their assignment is to verify. Was everything done and made correctly? They can detect defections and then send it back and say, no, 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 we cannot send this because this is an indictment on our reputation and our image. Patterns, the spiritual quality control systems that guarantee that what comes out of it has the signature of God. The glory of God. There is a pattern for spiritual growth. We don't just grow anyhow in this kingdom. There is a methodical spiritual approach that was given to the saints that if you administer it like a drug to any spiritual patient, there is a guarantee. We have medical personnel here. We have doctors. And regardless the individual, in most cases when an individual says, I have malaria or I have whatever sickness, the, there, are, there are drugs that have already been designed. Is that true? The doctor or the manufacturer does not have to be there with you. Provided it pass from them or recommended by their intelligence, they know it will work for you. So you don't need to scratch your head wondering, will this work? It's been tested. There is a pattern for spiritual growth. You can know you are growing not just because you've stayed long in church, not just because you have appointments in church. You can know you are growing if and when you subscribe to the spiritual pattern. And according to scripture, the pattern that is made for growth is called doctrine. If you are not receiving the administration of doctrine, the, the possibility for growth is not there. Regardless where you are. Doctrine is the course curriculum that builds the believer into maturity. Are we blessed? There is a pattern for church growth. For instance, a ministry does not just grow. There is a spiritual pattern that makes it happen. A company does not just grow. A business does not just grow. No, there are patterns for it. One of the keys that control it, for instance, is I, if I be lifted up from the earth, it says I will draw men. So the more you hide behind the veil and you allow Jesus to be seen and to be lifted up, there is a promise that he will draw men to himself. There is a pattern for wealth and abundance. Takes more than desire. Takes more than business. Takes more than investments. Takes more than a job to be transgenerationally blessed. There is a spiritual pattern. There is an economic system in this kingdom by which the saints rise. It's not subject to, it has no prejudice attached to it. That whoever, like Cain, receiving a warning from God, whoever can subscribe to it with understanding, inevitably will emerge carrying that testimony. There is a pattern for building your faith. If your faith is small, if your faith is weak, you are violating a spiritual pattern that makes for the development of your faith. The Bible says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But faith does not just grow by hearing alone. But ye beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith. You have to know how it comes. You have to know how it grows. You have to know how it is administered. Is God blessing us tonight? There is a pattern for the anointing. This probably is one of the sincere desires for many people, especially in the body of Christ. Do you know, respectfully speaking, probably eight or ten out of people who come uh, seeking prayer, especially those in ministry, what they really want, and, and, and they are very sincere. They will tell me, Apostle, what I desire is the anointing. I want the anointing is in an unusual way, in an unusual degree. Very sincere desire, but there is a pattern. Just because it comes from heaven does not mean it comes anyhow. Even in heaven, there are patterns. You don't walk into the throne room just because Jesus is there. No, there are patterns. You never find angels just roaming around the throne room because if, 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 no, 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 no. There is an order. There is an ordinance. There are patterns. Remember, Satan is not there. The construction of heaven was done with a pattern. 
the names of the 12 apostles being the foundation itself. There is a way the anointing comes. There is a way the anointing increases. There is a way the anointing is administered. Just having a desire does not necessarily bring the anointing. There are different levels of the anointing. There are different dimensions of the anointing. Please pay attention. Just because you enjoy a dimension of the anointing does not mean it can do everything in your life. No. Are we together? Spiritual patterns. There is a pattern for activating favor in your life. Favor with God and favor with men. Luke 2.52. The Bible declares that Jesus increased. So we can increase in wisdom, in stature, and the Bible says in favor with God and with men. If you have favor with God alone, like you may have heard me say, you will have encounters, you will have visions, but you will really suffer as far as this life is concerned. You need favor with men. Favor does not just happen. I think one of the misunderstood subjects, not the only one, but one of the many misunderstood subjects in the body of Christ is the subject of favor. For a very, very long time, respectfully speaking, we thought that favor just happens just like that. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There is an intentional formula. For many years, we kept calling breakthrough favor. If it happens only once, it's not favor. It must be repeated to be favor. Regardless the surrounding circumstances. Proverbs 13, 15. The Bible says, good understanding giveth favor. Good understanding. That is the mother that bets this child called favor. It says transgression is also a pregnant woman that can give birth to something called hardship. Hardship does not just happen. It is a direct product of violating certain laws. Good understanding giveth favor. But the way of the transgressor, the violator of patterns, is hard. There is a pattern for building and maintaining relationships. They don't just happen. Is that true? Amos chapter 3 and verse 3, for instance, it says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? The word agreed means um, compatible, similarity in viewpoints. That he that wants friends, he has an assignment to show himself friendly. He that walks with the wise, the Bible declares, shall also be wise. It says, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Do not be deceived, the Bible declares. It said, good company. Bad company can corrupt good morals. These are patterns. There is a pattern for a model home. It does not just happen. Psalm 112. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. He said his seed shall be mighty upon earth. He says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. The generation, not just the children, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches, the next verse says, shall be in his house. And yet his righteousness endures forever. There is a pattern for restoration. There is a pattern for restoration. The possibility of recovery is a reality in this kingdom. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. He said, where fell it? There is a way that things that are missing and gone can come back. I prophesied as I was commanded, Ezekiel 37, and he said there was a sound. And bone began to come to its bone. Are we together? Yes. There is a pattern for exemption. Is a mystery that is able to exempt men. That when men say there is a casting down, there is something like a spell that can come upon you and make you to testify that there is a lifting up. Is it in your Bible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. And for you, none of this shall hurt you. Only with your eyes shall you stand and behold the reward of the wicked. These are patterns. It is the presence of these patterns that make the faith walk a walk of victory. It is not a walk of victory just because you are in it. It's a walk of victory if and only when you understand the patterns 
that this life demands. So to the degree to which you know or do not know these things, that is the degree to which abundant life speaks in your life. You can have life, but you can have abundant life. Are we blessed? He says, I am come, the thief cometh not, John 10, 10, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Then he says, I am come, this is why I've come, that ye may have life. You can stop there, but you can have abundant life. Life overflowing, some versions will say.